I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. A Bonnell man is arrested after deputies say he stole a generator out of a garage. John R. King reports. On Monday, the Flagler County Sheriff's Office responded to Ferris Lane in reference to a residential burglary that had just occurred. The victim told deputies she was outside of her home just before 4 a.m. when she heard a male voice nearby. Moments later, she entered her garage and found the screen door open and a generator valued at $800 missing. The victim then reported that she got into her vehicle and began searching her neighborhood for the generator and noticed a white van fleeing the area at a high rate of speed. When she relayed that information to deputies, she also mentioned that weeks prior, a man whom she identified as Jason Daly asked her if he could use the generator, to which she said no. Daly is also the owner of a white van. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley says further investigation revealed that Daly sold the generator to Palm Coast Cash and Pawn using a fake receipt. That suspect was then interviewed by our detectives and the generator was recovered and an arrest quickly made. This is a great example of the eyes and ears of the community, good police work, but also a reminder that These air garage doors are not secure, and you should always keep your garage doors closed, even when you're in your house. Daly was charged with burglary of an occupied dwelling, grand theft from a dwelling, false verification of ownership, and dealing in stolen property. He's being held on a $7,500 bond. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Erking. This portion of Flagler's Morning News brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport, Delta Airlines nonstop to Atlanta, and now nonstop service to New York City via American Airlines. Hundreds of runners will take to the streets Sunday for the Pink Army 5K race at Advent Health Palm Coast. Helga Van Eckert, the county's economic development director, is chair of the committee that organized the event. The whole idea behind this gathering is to educate people on the importance of getting pre-screened and uh, staying on top of your health. This month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and Van Eckert has a personal connection to the cause. I lost my mom to breast cancer a few years back. And I'm convinced it could have been avoided had she had early detection. But like so many women and mothers, they put themselves after their children, their family, and their loved ones, and she just didn't get diagnosed early enough. It was too far spread. She adds the event isn't just for runners. There's a kid's fun run and more. There's also a one-mile walk, as well as a pink out your pup competition where you get to strut your mutt in their finest pink wear. The race kicks off at the front door of the hospital at 7.45 a.m. Sunday. The walk begins at 8.30 a.m. The 15th annual Creekside Festival in Palm Coast is this weekend. With more, here's Tony Magoo. Some extra star power and a little high-octane fuel will highlight the annual Creekside Festival in Palm Coast. Local celebrity Caleb Lee is semifinalist on NBC's The Boys in 2018. will perform on the main stage at 1 o'clock Sunday. Set in the county's pastoral Princess Place Preserve, the two-day festival also will feature pioneer reenactors, music, food, arts and crafts, vendors, a beer garden, and a kid's zone. The event runs from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on both days. Among the new features for this year's festival is a moonshine tent where visitors can get samples from an authentic still and learn about the history of moonshine in Flagler County. Flagler County Commissioner Dave Sullivan, Sheriff Rick Staley, distiller Jimmy Day, and former clerk of the courts Gail Wadsworth will be on hand to talk about Flagler County's moonshine past. Admission for the Creekside Festival, which is a fundraiser for the Flagler County Chamber of Commerce, is $5 per person and up to $15 per carload. Children under 12 are free. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. Being on a school bus without air conditioning is difficult, to say the least. Just ask bus driver Randy Wolfgren. It's like being inside a, a, a aluminum tube with sun beating on it. I mean, it's, it's, it gets really hot. But Wolfgram says it could be worse. But when I was a kid, we didn't have air conditioning. Right. So you open the right. windows. Andy West with Flagler Schools Transportation says that just like at home, if the AC goes out, you get it fixed. He said that bus drivers do their best to get their air conditioning fixed as soon as possible. But some buses just don't have any AC. Do you want to be a bus driver for Flagler County Schools? Then go to flaglerschools.com and click on the transportation page. That's where you'll find everything you need to know. To listen to the entire interview, download the Flagler Radio app and go to the Free For All Friday podcast. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.